the gay agenda, right? So we hear this term all the time. Politicians love to use it. I see it on social media a lot with trolls and comment sections claiming that something is the gay agenda being pushed. And it drives me insane because there is no agenda to be to be pushed. There's no agenda to be had. The reason why we now see more and more gay stories in media, whether it's on the news, whether it's um, on TV, in movies, in books, is because those stories are real. They exist in the real world, and therefore now they're being portrayed in media. That's the way it works. Historically, there are certain groups that you never saw talked about in media, and that was because they didn't have any power or like relevance to the, to the masses. Um, they, they didn't have the ability to be represented. And now it's a beautiful thing that we can actually talk about real gay issues. It's, it's become relevant. And so now of course it's, it's gonna get depicted because these are real things that happen in real life. So whenever I see those comments, I, I remember years ago, my main email address was a Yahoo email address. And in the, in the comment section of the like celebrity articles that they would have, you always had like Billy Bob from Bumfuck Georgia saying, Holly weird, as I like to call it, instead of Hollywood, is once again pushing the gay agenda. And I kind of wish I could talk to someone like that, like one-on-one -on -one and be like, why do you think that? Why, why do you feel that there's an agenda and that it can't just be real, that people want to hear about this or that these things happen and that's why there's a, um, a, de a demand or a, a desire to see those stories be told. My favorite thing too is when people say, I'm fine with you being gay, just don't shove it down my throat. Who is shoving anything down your throat? Nobody is coming on to you. Nobody's trying to have sex with you. Where does that come from? This obsession of like, I just don't want you pushing the agenda. I don't want you pushing this down my throat. I had a boss years ago who said that, you know, his parents were cool with him being gay, but, you know, when he came home with his boyfriend, they couldn't, you know, get physical. They couldn't kiss, they couldn't touch. And he was fine with this. And I kind of thought of like, well, what about your siblings though? Like if, you know, if your brothers brought a girl home, I'm assuming then it's fine for them to kiss. And, and he was like, you're right. You're totally right. Then it would be fine. So, I mean, it's just so ignorant. Why is one of those situations considered too controversial? You're pushing an agenda. And the other is considered totally natural. Boys and girls should touch each other and should kiss in public and, you know, demonstrate PDA, public display of affection. But gay people are not allowed. You're allowed to be gay. We just don't want to see any resemblance of you actually being gay. It's just so, it's just so, it's so ignorant. And if anything, I'm glad that we're hearing these gay stories now and we see them unfold on TV and, and wherever else because that's reminding these ignorant people that we exist and we're not going anywhere. Even if you kill us all, that's the beauty of the gay gene. It's, we're gonna keep coming back. And this is why I love this guy. This is Dylan Geik. He's pretty big on social media. He's a YouTuber, but his Instagram is where he has his biggest presence. And I love this picture. I love when gay people try to flip these terms upside down and basically do a mockery of it. And I love that this shirt even exists. Like I'm pushing the gay agenda. I love it. If anybody has it, send it to me, I want it.